Hello? <laughs> what the hell is going on over there? We crunk lit any bitch. Yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. So I was sitting here getting ready for bed, y'all. And I was just like, you know what? Let me try to just push out these videos for y'all. I've made a schedule for myself. I will be uploading every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I'll be on the lookout for those every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. A new video will be up for you guys. So I'm like, tomorrow, Tuesday, y'all need a video. Y'all really have been liking my story times, and I don't really do a lot of story times on my channel. I have created a playlist so you can go watch all the story times I've ever done over there but I don't really do a lot on my channel so I was like you know what let me just give y'all these videos so for the next week of uploads I'm going to be doing like a little story time a thon or whatever you want to call it okay so we get ready for bed so get comfy sit down and let's get into this motherfucking story as you can see by the title that shit was crazy <laughs> I got neighbors. And on the Yelp reviews, they said that these walls are thin, so I don't want to be too loud. I have actually like jotted down the timeline of the story, so be proud. <laughs> this story is a little crazy, and it is a little all over the place, because it's like, I'm just picking to tell this story, which I should have like introduced this character, because I don't know if I'm going to be telling more stories of the little times we had. I'm going to give y'all a little backstory, but not like an in-depth backstory, because like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading more videos of this man's we're gonna call this dude chip you know chip skyler on uh fairly off Harris. <laughs> that was my chip <laughs> man was so fine to me i had met chip it was kind of like a random it was very random how we met each other but we kind of met each other and hit it off from like the first day of knowing each other i'm gonna let y'all know and give y'all the backstory this man had a girlfriend i'm not no home wrecker y'all i'm not no home wrecker i didn't know he had a girlfriend to begin with but let me just get into the story okay a little backstory on chip like i said i didn't know he had a girlfriend when we first had met it was just like a fast-paced environment so it was just like what's up what's up what's up it was crazy i'll probably tell y'all the story of how we first met if y'all want to hear that too because the girlfriend was there and i don't even know <laughs> anyways let's just fast forward to the story that I'm talking about today. Like I said, when we first met each other, we hit it off. Like me and this dude will talk on the phone every single day to the point, like if we're not on FaceTime, we're texting. If we're not texting, we're falling asleep on FaceTime. So that's why I didn't know he had a girlfriend because like, how are you falling asleep with me on FaceTime? Although a little red flag should have went off. I did mostly talk to this man when he was like out, out and about or in his car. And like, he wasn't really at home, but he would call me sometimes when he was at home. Time comes for when like, it was like, oh, I'm gonna have to tell y'all the story. I'm gonna have to tell y'all the stories of Chip. <laughs> At this moment in time, or this day that happened that I'm telling y'all about, um, I knew he had a girlfriend. And on my behalf, was it wrong of me to continue to talk to this man knowing he had a girlfriend? Yes, on the outside looking in, but I was on the inside. As I thought. Like me, I've been in a long term relationship so I know how that goes when you like mentally check out and the relationship not going how you want it to go. So that's how that relationship was brought to me. Like, you know, we would talk about life and about our relationships and past and all this and all that. So when I did find out he had a girlfriend, he broke it down and explained to me like he's just like mentally checked out, blah, 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 blah. And me over here being dumb, Chip Skylark, I was just like, you know what? Well, whatever. Like you saying it's good. You saying this one. Yeah, I was dumb. I was being dumb. I'm sorry. This is when I was younger. I'm grown now. I'm mature. I'm not talking to no mans with no girlfriends or no exes. That is crazy because they don't really be crazy. The nigga just... Anyway, I was young, okay? We all go through that phase. Like, I'm not a home record. <laughs> The day comes around, like I said, we always talk to each other on the phone. Chip gives me a call, whatever, and we just on the phone talking, right? This was like a whole long ass day. So he calls me kind of like um, afternoonish, and we're just on FaceTime with each other, right? He's heading out of his house, getting in his car, we're on FaceTime, just talking about life. Our relationship that we had, it was very much so friendship, but we were flirting with each other, so it wasn't like friendship, because we was like getting to know each other. But it was a friendship, like we would talk about a lot of stuff and just confine in each other about a lot of stuff. Oh my God, I was a side chick the whole time. Anyways, <laughs> not necessarily, because like I said, it was a lot that on with that relationship not his and his girlfriend relationship just me and his relationship <laughs> the more i talk the more this shit just sound dumb i'm sorry like i keep saying i'm not that person anymore oh my god if this is the first video you see of me just know like i'm a really cool person because <laughs> this is not me this is not me now this was a long time ago anyways so 
Chip calls me, we're on the phone, we're talking, blah, 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 right? He has a couple errands he needs to run, so we're just on the phone like a normal day like we normally do. So he's going around town, his business, and we just talking, catching up, laughing, chatting, whatever. He tells me like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. This is not the first time he has called me when he's at lunch. Like we having little lunch dates on the phone. Damn, I was a side chick. We was having like little lunch dates on the phone or whatever. So he went out to lunch. This man orders like um, a margarita or like a daiquiri or whatever you want to call it. It was like a big ass margarita, right? And it was a Cadillac margarita. I remember that, I remember, I remember. It was called a Cadillac margarita and the shit was huge, right? And I was like, damn, that shit looks so good. So he's like drinking his margarita, eating his food, blah, 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 right? And we're just talking. Then this man was like, oh, I want another one. So I'm like, okay, the margarita is big. And as he's talking, his words are starting to slur. And I'm like, you really need another one? And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna get another one. So I'm like, all right, cool. Do your thing, shut You're a grown ass man. You ain't that big, I mean like built wise. So like, it's hitting you how it would hit me, you know? So I'm like, damn, I would have been lit off that first one, but you do you. So he ends up getting another Cadillac margarita. He also ordered a shot. Should he have got that shot? No, because I think that's what did it and that's what led to this damn story. Now at this point in time, I'm on FaceTime feeling a little left out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go get me a shot. I got the bottles in the kitchen. Shot o'clock. So I'm like, all right, boom. Shot, 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 shot. Well, me, I was shot, 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 shot. He just took one shot and had his margaritas. Just chilling on the phone talking about what? I don't remember. This shit was a long time ago. Like I said, this was prime pandemic days, okay? Like an underground hookah place he was telling me about. He was like, I'm finna go there because I don't really want to go home. I wonder why you don't want to go home, Chip. I wonder why you don't want to go home. So he's like, I don't really feel like going home. I'm lit. Like I don't want to just vibe out and talk to you, shorty. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Damn, I was a side chick. Anyway, so <laughs> ends up going to this hookah place. Now the hookah place, the owners know him and like it was like you know like businesses are not supposed to be open but they was kind of on the low open and they were only letting the customers that they knew so it wasn't that many people in the hookah lounge when he went right like on the outside the hookah place they let it's closed da -da -da. but if you do a little knock 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 hit up the owner they gonna let you in and hookahs was hooking in music was musicking you know they was doing some illegal sh my bad y'all i don't really remember what i was talking about my friend had called me but um Damn, what was I saying? I don't even know. Okay, about the hookah lounge. Sorry if I already said this, but um, the hookah lounge was on some very illegal shit. You have to hit up the owner for them to let you in if they knew you as a customer. And he went there pretty frequently. He was like a little hookah hoe, if we be honest. So he had drove to the hookah lounge, right? The hookah lounge from the food place wasn't that far because I've been to both of them on a different occasion. Like I said, it's more stories. <laughs> It's more stories about me and Chip's relationship. Am I gonna tell everything? Probably not. I've been to both of these locations. So I know that it's not that far from each other for him to drive. It's literally like a two minute drive. Like it wasn't that far. He could have really walked if he wanted to. But like I said, he had already been out during the day running his errands. So he went to the um, food place, got his margaritas and his shot. Then he drove literally two minutes to go to this hookah lounge, right? Boom, drives to the hookah lounge. He's in the hookah lounge, we're like chilling, talking. We're on the phone now at the hookah lounge for a cool like 45 minutes, right? 45 minutes! This is when shit gets bad. At the hookah lounge, they got like booth, so he's sitting in the section, the booth, and he's like starting to like sink down into the booth, kind of like laying down. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like he's drunk at this point. So he's like slouching down in the booth, right? And then all of a sudden, you just hear, like snoring. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> Chip, you good? What is going on? His phone is like face the ceiling, right? I couldn't see his surroundings because the phone is facing the ceiling and he's like snoring. I'm like, what do I do? I'm over here trying to like wake him up and the phone like call him, call him, call him and he's not really responding. Like this man is fucking drunk. Like if I would have one of those margaritas, one would have did it for me like for the rest of the day. So him having two plus a shot, like he was beyond lit. So he's like sitting in the booth passed out, right? In that situation, I really didn't know what to do because like, although that's her man, I was my man. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm just kidding. I really formed a friendship with this man. Like, when I have friends, I love you like my family, although he wasn't on a family level. Like, I really started to grow love for this man. So I'm in this like weird 
weird awkward position because I'm like one he drove there two no one knows he's there three this place from the outside looking in it looks closed like you're not even supposed to be at lounges clubs who could like we're, we're it's COVID Rona is running around so I'm like nobody knows this man is here right I don't know how many people are in this hookah lounge I don't know I know that the people knew him but like are they gonna make sure you good so I'm in my head like I really don't want to hang up the phone from time to time I would like call his name and like check like what's up are you okay chip wake up chip hello is anybody around him like hello but nobody would come to the phone so I was like you know what I'm gonna just stay on this phone call with this man to make sure my baby good <laughs> to make sure he's straight right so I'm on the phone I like swipe the FaceTime to the side and I'm over here scrolling on Twitter scrolling on Instagram scrolling on TikTok this is when TikToks are popping all of a sudden I hear a lot of commotion over the phone and I'm like chip <laughs> like, are you you're alive now? Because I swear it was like 20, 30 minutes I was on the phone to the point I forgot we were on FaceTime. Cause like I said, I was just scrolling. Like I wasn't really focused. I just knew I had to stay on the phone just in case a worker or somebody come around to grab his phone and was like, hello. So like I said, I'm over here scrolling. I hear a lot of commotion. And then I hear a woman's voice and was like, hello. I got scared. First of all, I forgot I was on FaceTime. So I'm like, oh, I like go back to the screen and I see that his phone is still faced up, right? So I'm like, I don't know who this person is. So I'm not gonna show my face on the camera. So I do one of these, right? I was like, hello. And then they were like, hello. And I was like, hey, like, oh my God, you know, like, is he good? And then they were like, oh yeah, he's okay. I'm saying they and them because at this point in time, let me just tell the story. Like, I'm really just trying to make sure he good. That's my friend. That's what I said. I didn't say this my man's, this my boyfriend. I said, you know, that's my friend. I'm just trying to make sure he good. So the person over the phone was like, oh yeah, he's okay. Like, he's just drunk. Like, you can tell he's really drunk. Like, he sleeps still. And I'm like, yeah, like, you're the first. <laughs> Y'all my dumb ass, but like for real, was I really dumb? No, no, because like logically speaking, nobody knew he was there. So I was like, oh my God, you're the first worker to come over and check on him. Like I didn't know who was in the building. Nobody came over. I was like, I've been on the phone and he'd been passed out for a cool 30 minutes. Like, wow, thank you for caring about him. Like check on him, wake him up, give him some water. So I'm saying all this over the phone. The voice on the other line, <laughs> What we gonna call her? His girlfriend. It was his girlfriend. I didn't know this at the time. The voice on the other line was like, wait, who is this? And I was like, who is this? <laughs> Bitch, who are you? I was like, uh, do you work there? She was like, no, who is this? And I was like, no. What do you mean, no? Who are you? Why do you have this man's phone then? Put his phone down and leave him alone. Give him some water and make sure he okay. Why do you have his phone? Who are you? Are you trying to steal? You a little thief? Like, why do you have his phone? Put it down. So I'm like, wait, you don't work there? <laughs> she like, no, who is this? And I guess she clicked the phone and see my name come up, right? Oh, that's a whole different story for a different day. Oh, I'm gonna have to tell more stories about Chip. If y'all wanna hear more stories about Chip, like this video. And do they got a Chip emoji? If they got a Chip emoji, put that in the comments. <laughs> I don't know if they got a chip emoji. But yeah, back to what I was saying. The girl was like, no, I don't work here. Who is this? And I was like, um, Deja? <laughs> because like, what else am I gonna say? This is like the fourth time the person on the phone asked me who I was. At this point in time, like we both doing one of these with the phones. So I'm like, Deja? And she's like, Deja? Deja from Vegas? <laughs> when she said that, y'all, I was like, fuck you, me. How you know? Who Oh, like it all clicked in the matter of two seconds. <laughs> when she said Deja from Vegas, I was like, this is not the predicament I wanted to be in today on this fine, whatever day it was back then. Like, I don't want to be in this predicament. So when she was like, Deja from Vegas, I was like, yeah, who is this? She's like, oh, hey, girl, how are you? And I'm like, good, how are you? Who is this? Like, who? Who am I speaking to? She wouldn't answer the question of who it was and I kind of felt some type of way because I'm like, girl, when you asked who it was, I told you who I was. It's Deja. <laughs> Big Deja, what I do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, hey girl, how are you? And I'm like, you trying to be funny. <laughs> like, you trying to be funny. I don't even like girls to begin with. This is y'all relationship now. I really ain't got nothing to do with it. I apologize. I see the shit that I'm about to get into. I don't even want no parts. That's you and your mans. 
business. I'm in it. <laughs> because like I said, this wasn't the first story. So I'm deep in it, but like, I don't even really want no parts. It's just, he just, you know, oh my God. Damn, when she said, is this Deja from Vegas? First of all, I got a little scared because like, how you know me for real? Um, but then it clicked like, oh damn, this is girlfriend. I'm like, yeah, like, who is this? She wouldn't tell me who it was. And at that time, I didn't even know this girl's name. So she wouldn't tell me her name. And even if she did tell me her name, if she wouldn't have added on the Vegas part, I still wouldn't have known who it was. I, like I said, I thought it was a worker. After I asked like, who was this? And she wouldn't answer. She was like, oh, how you doing girl? Like, how you been? I was like, good. Um, yeah, I was just really just on the phone with him. I didn't know if I should hang up or what, because like nobody really knew he was there and he's like really drunk. Cause she's like, yeah, he's just really drunk. Like, you know, I just came over to make sure he was okay. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I just stayed on the phone because like we were in the midst of a conversation. He just passed out and I didn't want to hang up. Like, I just wanted to make sure he was good. Wherever he is, is like, they're good. I was like, but you're really the first person to come over and check on him. And he's been there for like 30 minutes. And she was like, yeah, thank you for staying on the phone. Like, he's okay. Um, I'm going to get him this and that. Like, he's good. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> hang up because like at that point we don't need to have a conversation like we don't need to talk like none of this needs to be happening right now you trying to act like you my friend you don't care about my my well-being or any of that so let's stop the fakeness because if i was you in that position fight me bitch honestly fight me i'm call in right and i'm like shit i hit on my best friend like bitch what did you say what happened Right? As I'm on the phone with my best friend, his number start calling my phone. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This was only like a 10 minute time span from hanging up with this girl. So I'm like, hell no, I'm not answering this phone. Y'all not finna put me in the middle of nothing at all because like I said, I should have started from how I first met this man and led up to this story. Like I should have went in chronological order. Y'all might get that a different time. The girlfriend had already knew about me. My number was actually supposed to be deleted out this man phone, blocked me everywhere and all this and all that, right? It was just the connection we had. We just couldn't leave each other alone. I know it wasn't the right thing to do after I had found out he had a girlfriend, but it was really just like, it was just this person who I really had this bond with. I wasn't trying to let it go to be honest. And at that point in my life, I really didn't want a boyfriend. To be 100% honest, I knew it wasn't the right thing to do. But like at that point in my life and like the sh I was dealing with and going through, I didn't care. Like if you got a girlfriend, cool. You, we could just conversate. Like no, we're not doing nothing because at that point in our lives, we haven't done anything. It was really just like, it was really just phone conversation to be honest. Still on his behalf, that was him doing what he wanted to do. I had no loyalty to nobody, so I really didn't care. Anyways. Back to the story. She had already knew about me. He wasn't supposed to be communicating with me. Blah, 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 right? So when she said, Deja from Vegas, mm, it was bad Um, on his behalf, very bad. She played it cool with me. So boom, like I was saying, I'm on the phone with my best friend. His number start calling my phone. And I was like, it's only been like a 10 minute time frame. I don't know if this is him calling me. I don't know if it's them calling me. I don't know if it's her calling me. But what I'm not gonna do, is answer that phone because I don't feel like arguing with nobody daughter today. I don't want to do it, right? Because I know how my mouth can get and I know like back then I wasn't as healed as I was today. So I knew the stuff that would have came out my mouth would have been very hurtful and I just didn't want to like put myself into that situation, okay? So I respectfully declined that phone call, right? Two minutes later, like not even probably two minutes, a second later, I see shit on the caller ID and I'm like oh she really want to talk like what does she want or if he's calling me you are very bold sir because like what happened in the time frame from 10 minutes to now that you're back on my phone like where is your girlfriend sir at that point I was just like you know what I'm gonna take a deep breath and I'm already in this shit deep I'm gonna just answer the phone and answer whatever questions this girl want to talk about I'm here to tell you shorty I on my behalf I apologize for everything I caused emotionally to you if I did cause any because that should really just be between you and your boyfriend but like I'm in it already so I'ma just apologize on my behalf so I answer the phone ready to talk to this girl and I say hello and I hear Chip and I'm like hello <laughs> what the hell is going on over there I'm like you good and he like yeah I'm just a little drunk like da -da 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 -da. I fell asleep no duh I was on the phone 
the whole time. And when I said that, he was like, you was on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, I was on the phone. Your girlfriend didn't tell you like, because you know she answered the phone. And he's like, she answered the phone. And I'm like, yeah, I had thought she was a worker. So I'm just describing everything I just told y'all to him. And I'm like, I then knew it was her when she said, am I Deja from Vegas? And he was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, you're in trouble now. <laughs> and you know, at that point I was just like, you know, this is kind of becoming a little too much for me. Like I apologize if I gotten you into any trouble, if I caused any whatever in y'all relationship. Like I kind of really don't want no more parts of this. And he's just on the phone like, no, it's good. Like I guess she had his location and seen that he was in one spot for a little too long and wonder why he was there because like this place is supposed to be closed that's what it say on google maps so i guess she just popped up over there like what you doing and what type of time you want which i would have done the same thing i don't know what happened between him getting his car to leave and calling me back and her standing there with his phone in her hand he didn't tell me the commotion that went on but i knew it was some commotion because he was in the car driving and i'm like well where are you going because his house wasn't too far from the hookah lounge either I'm in all of them. Anyway, not, let me clear that up because at that, it was, oh my God, this is just a crazy, crazy time in my life. I've never been to any location when he was in a relationship. Let me just clear that up, okay? Clear that part up. I know where all these locations are and they're in a very close proximity within each other. He wasn't that far from his house to where the hookah lounge was. So I'm like, where are you going? And he was like, oh, I'm going to so-and-so house, his friend's house, right? I know his friend. At that point, that's my friend, my dog. So I'm like, you going to so-and-so house? He like, yeah. I'ma just go over there. I don't really feel like going home. Like it's still early. Like I'm just trying to really vibe out and it's just, shit just got a little crazy. I don't feel like going home. First of all, you're you're still intoxicated. Although you slept, slept it off and you feel okay, you're still very much so drunk, sir. Where he told me he was going his friend's house from his location was a cool hour and a half. Why are you finna drive an hour and a half instead of going home? Why you can't go home? And he wanted to play it cool like everything was okay. You not going home because you're not supposed to be on the phone with me and your, your girl seen you was on the phone with me because at this point in time I didn't know he lived with his girlfriend y'all the story just keeps thickening like it was crazy how I found all this shit out I'm gonna have to tell y'all the story it's so crazy how I found out all this shit between Chip and his relationship and our relationship it was just very 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 crazy like at that point I didn't know he lived with his girlfriend at that point in time I had barely found out he even had a girlfriend so like I said we would fall asleep on FaceTime with each other and stuff like that so like, you live with your girlfriend, how you falling asleep with me on FaceTime? So that's why two and two didn't add up and it wasn't four in my head. So when I was like, why you can't go home? Like it was a serious question of like, why are you finna drive an hour and 30 minutes drunk instead of driving to your house, which is right here? Like, what are you doing? So I'm like, why you just won't go home? And then as I'm talking and hearing the response, I'm like, do he live with this girl? He live with this girl, that's why he can't go home. He can't go home because he literally cannot go home. I'm just sitting here listening to him talk or whatever. And I'm like, well, you know what? It, this has been a little too much for me today. Like I said, I've been taking shots too, so I'm a little lit. Um, you, you, you bringing my drunk down, sir. Like, let me know when you make it and I'm gonna call you later. And he like, all right. So he ends up texting me, I guess when he made it to his friend's house, blah, 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 la, 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 right? The day goes on. Y'all, this was probably like afternoon up until the evening. The day goes on. I ended up getting a call from Chip later that night. FaceTime. I answered the FaceTime call. This man is at home in his bed. So now I'm sitting here thinking like, what is going on? Like this is becoming too much for me. Like what is going on? Do you live there? What was the reason of driving that far? Like did you just want to hang out with your friends because the mood has been blown or what? But the dude ends up calling me. Like I said, we're on FaceTime. We just chopping it up. I'm still over here trying to get more information. Like what have you put me in? I'm just talking to him about all that and I'm like, what's going on with this relationship? Because like I've been in her place with my prior relationship and I knew how I felt in that position. The like I really don't want to do this to any other woman so like you really need to get your shit together or we really just need to stop talking to each other like we having these conversations and he like nah it's good like blah 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 still telling me about the relationship and all this and all that and my dumb ass just over here just looking at him smile 
just believing everything this man telling me. <laughs> Duh. You know what? Whatever. Like, if we're gonna be friends, we're gonna be friends. Yes, Chip Skylock! <laughs> Duh. They did live together, and I found that out after the fact. They lived together very much so. Lived in the same apartment, slept in the same bed, and he would fall asleep on FaceTime with me. That's the story of the time his girlfriend answered the FaceTime call, and I was very much so shook. Like, not even gonna lie to you. When she knew who I was, I was like, damn, this is, this is bad. This is really, really bad. But yeah, like I said, if y'all wanna hear more story times about Chip, because I got a couple, and I got a few, and I'ma just start telling them. Because like I said, this was pandemic days so now i feel like i can tell y'all it's not fresh no more it's kind of like i really don't give a damn anymore so i guess i can tell y'all <laughs> uh, i feel like it's my story to tell i feel like it's my story to tell too because i was actually involved and it caused a lot of emotional damage to me we were in deep i was so like emotionally invested in dumb for chip oh it's so many stories like it's so bad y'all it's so bad to the point <laughs> to the point if you if you know me in real life you know exactly who i'm talking about y'all know who chip is <laughs> It's Chip. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I'm gonna reiterate again. I am not a homewrecker, y'all, to this day. If I see you moving sneaky, because like I said, I was cheated on for a very long time. If I see you moving sneaky, I'm gonna be like, uh, yep, bye. If I know you got a girlfriend, bye. And if you got kids, don't talk to me. Like, I want no parts in any of those games. Not at all. This was a one-time thing, I swear before the Lord. This has been the only time I've ever, like, dealt with somebody who had a girlfriend. And this is why I would never, ever, ever, ever even think about doing it again. And I don't see how some people actually be doing it and not caring. I do see because back then I really didn't care either. Like, I was fighting demons in my life and I didn't care because I really didn't want to be in a relationship with him for real. Like I said, I just liked the conversation. It was entertaining. Don't be coming for me in the comments because I already know and I've already dealt with and I've grown. Okay? Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Man, if this far you're not yet subscribed, what? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts that are down below. And on that note, I love you guys! Bye!